My name is Dr. Dabaja. I'm one of the critical care fellows here at the University of Florida. We're going to briefly talk about an uh, A-profile finding and what the next diagnostic uh, approach would be. So if you were to look at the anterior chest and identify a -profiles, uh, an A-profile, which would mean A-lines on bilateral sides, um, to uh, exclude other causes of an A-profile, um, um, you would need to proceed to a DVT scan. So you, with an A-profile, could have COPD or asthma, but you can also have pulmonary embolism. In addition, you can have um, effusions and um, consolidates in other parts of the chest that are not identified in the anterior part when you do the initial exam. So in this patient, we've identified that he's A-profile. We've proceeded to find that his DVT scan, um, our scan, excludes um, any um, clots. In the next uh, part would be to take a look at the posterior part of the chest to identify any consolidations or effusions. And typically this would be done by having the patient put his arm up. And what you would also do is identify the plaps point, which is almost posterior. It's going to be lateral to the scapula. And so you actually ask the patient to go on to his uh, left lateral to cube uh, position, as you see here. And then very um, um, Briefly, you would place the ultrasound probe and very similarly find um, an area um, between two lungs and um, look at the lung tissue in there. And if you see consolidation, typically you'll see things like a tissue-like sign and uh, other findings that are consistent with any um, consolidation.